Lord, you have created us in your own image, but we have deformed this image by sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you became one of us in order to share our human nature with all, all its weakness, except sin. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, you send us the Holy Spirit to complete your work of love and reconciliation in us. Lord, have mercy on us. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to eternal life through His Word. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Holy Father, we ask you to look kindly on your daughter, Hoana Kanu, here at your altar. She has come to celebrate the life you have given her through the holy union of her parents. Strengthen her in that faith which has brought her here. Through the gifts of your Holy Spirit, guide her way through life as you guided your favorite daughter, the Virgin Mary. So may this young lady be always pleasing to you and inspire others to know, love and serve you. Through the Christian life, she lives fully. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. 
Please be seated for the readings. parents. 
So you have dreamed for a long time about this day. Perhaps when your daughter was born, you thought someday we will celebrate her in San Jose. And now that day has arrived. So I congratulate you once again. So I also want to congratulate the padrinos, the godparents. You have a special part in, your, in today's celebration and in the life of your Adizada, your granddaughter, goddaughter. And congratulations to the other family members and the friends present here and the young people accompanying Hova Nakano. So you are all looking sharp in your dresses. It is a great joy and honor for me to celebrate this Kinsinara service. We have two purposes at this celebration today. The first is to give thanks. Our Kinsinara Hova Nakano give thanks gives thanks for the gift of life that God has given her through the cooperation of her parents. You thank God for the family, primarily, for your health, for your intelligence, and the opportunities to study, and also for your beauty. So it's a gift from God. So God, so God wants you to use those gifts not in a selfish way, but in a way that will make life better for other people. For that reason, you want, the church wants you to study hard so you can develop your gifts to the full. So you have great gifts and you want to use them well. And that brings us to the second purpose of this celebration. You not only want to thank God, but also seek God's help at every moment of your life. Because our God is a provider God. You should never forget that. The decisions you make now will determine your directions in life. You need God's help to become the person God has meant you to be. Hermanos y hermanas, es una gran alegría y un honor para mi celebrar esta celebración. Tenemos dos propósitos en esta celebración. El primero es dar gracias. Nuestra que enseñara Juana Cano, de gracias por el regalo de la vida que Dios le dio a través de la cooperación de sus padres. Las gracias a Dios por tu familia, tu salud, tu inteligencia, las oportunidades de estudiar y también por tu belleza. Es un regalo de Dios. Dios quiere que uses de esos dones no de manera egoísta, sino de una manera que mejore la vida de otras personas. Por eso quieres estudiar mucho para poder desarrollar al máximo tus dones. Tienes grandes dones y quieres utilizarlos bien. Eso nos lleva al segundo propósito de esta celebración. No solo se quiere agradecer a Dios, sino pedirle ayuda. Usted y los demás jóvenes aquí presentes se encuentran en un momento crucial. Las decisiones que tomes ahora determinarán el rumbo de tu vida. Necesitas la ayuda de Dios para convertirte en la persona que Dios ha querido que sea.
Now we will have the renewal of baptismal promises. Now I request the King Senior to please stand. Not all of you. Homanakano, when you were an infant, your parents and godparents brought you to the waters of baptism to be initiated into the new life of our Savior. At that moment, they made a profession of faith for you and in your name. You are so small that time. <laughs> so now, the time brought you to this altar. Therefore, the Catholic Church now asks you to renew and affirm that commitment of faith of your own free will and conviction which you made on the day of your baptism with the help of your parents. And now I ask you, do you renounce sin so that you may live in the freedom of a daughter of God? Yes, I do. Do you renounce the attractions of evil so that sin will not enslave you? Yes, I do. Do you renounce Satan, father and author of sin? Yes, I do. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Yes, I do believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord? who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered, died and was buried, rose again from the dead and is seated at right of the Father? Yes, I do believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life eternal? Yes, I do believe. So this is the belief of the Church and we all believe in that. Now I invite you to pray to God that the, the prayer of dedication of the girl and as I instructed you earlier, so please do it with, the, with your full heart and don't forget about everything and just talk to God, okay? I offer you, O Lord, my youth, guide my steps, my actions, my thoughts. Grant me the grace to understand your new commandment, to love one another, and may your grace not be wasted in, time, in me. I ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior and Redeemer, O Mary, my mother, present my offering and my life to the Lord. By my model of a violent woman, my strength and my guide, you have the power to change hearts and my heart then, and make me worthy daughter of yours. Amen. Now I request the parents and the godparents to bring forth the gifts so that we'll have the blessing of the gifts. <coughs> blessing of the gifts. Previous gifts, the rosaries, the crosses, medals, Bibles. All the gifts they brought to you, bless in your name. May these gifts be a source of joy for Bhavan Nakano on her pilgrimage to you. Through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Now I request the congregation to please stand for the prayers of the faithful. Please raise. Invoquemos con confianza, hermanos y hermanas. A Dios Padre Todopoderoso, y pedamosle por Jesucristo su Hijo y nuestro Señor que derrame los dones de su bondad sobre esta joven y sobre todos nosotros. Por la Santa Iglesia, para que sea siempre fiel a Dios y atenta al bien de todo el pueblo, roguemos al Señor. Por nuestra hermana. Oh, Ana Cano, que acaba de reafirmar su compromiso bautismo para que en este día de sus 15 años, arraigada en la fe y fundamentada en la caridad, pueda dar testimonio a Jesucristo con su vida. Roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, Señor. Por sus padres y padrinos, responsables de su fe, para que con su palabra y ejemplo, la ayudan a seguir fielmente a Cristo. Proguemos al Señor.
We conclude all our prayers through the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trust in us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from me. Let us bow our heads for the final blessings. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God, who in his loving providence wishes to save all the human race through his son who was born of the Blessed Virgin Mary, fill you with his blessing. Amen. May he grant you always the protection of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through whom you have received the order of life. Amen. And to all of you gathered here today to celebrate for on Akama's 15th birthday, may the Lord give you the joy of his spirit and the blessings of his kingdom. The amazing blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and stay with you forever. Amen. Go with God and love one another as the Lord has loved us. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.